Hello everyone out there on the internet, I'm Jack of All Trades and we are here for Fiona and Cake. This is episode 8. Jerry. I don't know who Jerry is. I am, again, assuming my theory that the latter half of the season's episodes are all named after characters we haven't yet met, whereas the first half were all pre-existing characters. Last time, Vampire World. Fantastic episode. I loved the character designs, I liked the story, and that as an alternate timeline for the show makes a lot of sense. However, we have used, well, Fiona Cake and Simon have used what we believe to have been the last jump uh, with the remote. They think wherever they're about to end up is the last universe they can hop to, because uh, they've run out of magical juice from the jewel from the farm world crown. So we gotta find a crown in this world, or some other way to traverse universes, otherwise wherever they end up is wherever they're gonna stay. Uh, we do also have Scarab, who has been scooped up, teleported away from within the time room, interestingly, um, by presumably their boss, who I believe is also Prismo's boss, so it's someone above Prismo, which is crazy. Again, assumingly Golb is above Prismo, but I Doubt Golb um, as this embodiment of essentially chaos and disharmony, at least prior to the fusing combining with Betty. Um, I highly doubt that they are the sort of entity that would have an auditor working for them that doesn't quite line up. Uh, so I believe there's going to be some other entity that's in charge of them. But yeah, episode 8, Jerry. Let's get this up. And without any further ado, 3, 2, 1. Now, without any further ado, 3, 2, 1, play! Intro. Oh, that's Vampire World now, we know. Oh, and that's like Baby Finn running through the Vampire World. Okay. The, the, the shorter Finn in that environment. Gotcha. And the candy people. There's that sort of yellowish brown desert uh, that we briefly see Fiona and Cake sort of crying in, and Fiona's wearing uh, the jacket she got from Martin in last episode, so presumably that's going to be in this next couple episodes. Step carefully, Betty. These rocks are slippery, fellas. Hmm. First appearance of Betty since. Yeah! Come along with me. What? Water's not too cold, and now I definitely won't slip. Oh, <laughs> Simon. Dr. Petrikov. Uh, before they were on a first name basis. <laughs> or she just had a lot of respect for him. Yeah, here we go. This is that world that I was just talking about from the intro that we haven't seen yet. We've been walking for miles, but I've seen no sign of the Ice Kingdom. Hmm. And no sign of where to look for a crown. Yeah, quite a downer of a world oh, to end up great. in. We left Monster World and ended up in Crap World. You don't know what's out there. Sherry. Okay. Still no idea who that can be referring to. So is, is this going to be an episode where we're in this desert? I'm going to call it a desert for lack of a better term, world. Fractals? Oh, is this where our scar Scarab ended up? Mmm. Hey, Scrabby. Orbo. You're up, mate. Hmm. Was that bandit? Tell me. Oh my gosh. That means whatever happened here happened somewhat recently. It happened before Come Along With Me, but it happened after the start of the series. Because we've seen that tree young uh, with, like, Shoko before, or younger. But it also gets destroyed in Come Along With Me, so it's ha it happens between then. Like, it, whatever happened to this world happened in the last hundred years. Oh. Oh. 
wasn't able to locate the actual armor of Zeldron, the wand of disbursement, or the freaky porcelain lamb, I believe they're still out there. <laughs> that wand looks vaguely familiar. Thank you. Oh. I touched his hand in the library once. Dr. Pentecost. I agree with that reaction. <laughs> he had that slide settle down for Jack of Legend. I am attempting a arduous journey of the unknown. Mm. An expedition to find the Enchiridion. Yep. Here it is. Is there an expedition to find an ancient artifact with the Simon Petrikov? <laughs> that is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So yes, I'll go with you. Okay. 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 Firmly establishing that. She could have left and gone to Australia. Feels like a this is an established thing in the timeline that can branch off, can diverge. If that doesn't happen, a lot of things don't happen. There's something back there. It surprised me and I whacked it into a corner of It feels familiar. Or at least like a double beat. Like we've had that idea before in the story at least. Bemo with an owl mask. Where is everybody? Yeah. They're around. Except for BRB Finn. Oh no, okay. I was thinking maybe this could be this could have happened during Marcy's occupation of the treehouse, but no, this happened since Finn and Shake were here. It's definitely bandit. Why don't I give them cards? Just be Okay. Who's Orbo's boss? Into thousand easy pieces. <laughs> hey, that's my friend Jerry's place. Jeremy? He's cool and tall and makes or funny Jerry. jokes. <laughs> cool and tall and makes funny jokes. Yeah, so cute. Oh. <laughs> so you never finished telling your great Tall and lots of jokes. Probably for the best. Please. I feel like it's got to be a character that we know at least, or some some version of. Slow but dependable. The method your mom taught you. She sounds badass. Oh, honeys, we are home. Okay, this is. Left of the ice kingdom on the keyboard. Hey, I found some dirty tapes. Oh, Ooh, stuff. <sighs> good times. Okay, everything <laughs> right where I left it. Old fashioned glaze, slightly daily and nightly. Everything bagel. You hear that, Gunter? I put the crown inside my kick drum. Okay. And action. Is that where it stayed? Is it still in there? Every night I hear that blasted foghorn moaning like a man. You're ruining my vision! <laughs> Wait, that's what he was like with the crown? We saw that last frame, right? Oh, now they'll feel bad about getting him a crown to restore his madness. It'll, destroy, it'll restore their world, but it'll ruin him. The, the last frame of that, they, they turned to skeletons. I know someone who can fix this. My friend Princess Bubblegum. Good call. But I feel like she's probably gone as well. <laughs> it's like that episode where Jake turned into a horse for Bimo. And ended up with Meemow, I think, again. <laughs> the crown is in his kick drum. Why didn't we look for the kick drum? I didn't get to tell you what happened after Betty and I got back. Oh, is it just meant to be ominous them suddenly being skeletons very briefly, or like did that happen and the camera turned off when something happened to the world suddenly. Ready? 
Is this a world where the lich won? This is your moment. There's no organic life anywhere. If Bimo, uh, I think Bimo counts as life, but AI do, does does he count as life as far as the lich is concerned? Dispensable. Oh. Any expedition would be lucky to have you. Again, we're seeing another point in the story where they can have split off and not seen each other again. She's just changing. I will help her. Aww. Help me sleep on my bra. Yes, my lady. Pardon my late arrival, dear pedant. When it is simply helpless without good help around. No. I'm gonna allow me to stop. What happened to the everyone is gone? One day everyone was a skeleton. Then Jerry came. Okay. So yeah, something happened and suddenly everyone became a skeleton. But Bimo said Bimo was wrong. Could this be some sort of remnant spin-off world where the Lich's wish wasn't changed? Oh no, his yeah, between the Lich's wish for the extinction of all life and Finn's wish um, that the Lich never, never existed. Could, could this be in between that brief moment, but also Infinity, again, the time room being the time room? Could this be that world? Maybe? I've admired your research for years. But during our Aww. conversation, I happen to admire you as a person, too. Aww. You're not only brilliant and dedicated, but you're charming and fun and kind-hearted. Before she leaves. I've been replaying everything. Don't make her miss that bus! <laughs> Betty! <laughs> Again, Betty! another moment here where things could have gone differently. Your note. Yeah? Maybe you should be more careful she, with what she listening to. letters and where you put them. Aww. Oh. Simon, uh, come sorry. on. It was a stupid note. I was. I want you by my side. Oh, Petrikov! <laughs> I so thought they were about to fall down the stairs. You really have to stop calling me Petrikov. Okay. <laughs> Simon. Oh. So you got on the bus with her? Yep. Uh, well, no, no. Why would I? Hmm. The power of love is so powerful. Vincent, Could they have both gone to the outback instead? I have never failed anything. <laughs> is there a moment in the show where Bimo gets that little medal and can use that to even firmer place this in the timeline? Or at least when whatever happened happened. Or is this gonna blow up? This is just gonna kill Bimo. That's funny, but very grim. Kick doing that. Let's go try Jerry. Bimo talked about that Jerry guy a lot. Maybe we should find him and tell him the bad news. I get my guess is Lich, but I don't know. But we've been teasing him a few times. Takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? <laughs> uh, no offense, but do you guys know any other songs? I forgot you know that tune. But you lived in my head, so that tracks. Yeah, what is that tune? That was our song. Betty's and mine. Oh, is it the song she was listening to on the headphones that day? And because of the fucking crown, this story goes so far off the rails for those two. Yeah. What is this world? Ew. 
Green glow. Sudden change of music. Come on. Oh, yes! <laughs> Call it. Cease. Oh, Ron Perlman's back. Oh, it's the world of the witch. Suddenly, he showed up and everyone just suddenly became skeletons. He got what he wanted. I assume the other Moes would still be alive as well. Say goodbye to your legs. Ooh. Oh. Ice wizard. So you have risen again. <laughs> In olden days, I would have rewarded your insolence with death a thousandfold. But. And yeah, this is after. We're not in danger. This, this is that universe. This is. The universe for that brief moment where the Lich made his wish and then Finn changed it. Because he's he's still wearing Billy. I love that I called that. Let me, let me grab my little... Well, I, I have the original Lich Funko Pop. Grab him. It was in the kick drum. Yep. Like this. I don't want to curse anyone. Fiona, it's going to be fine. Oh, using the lich as a battery. <laughs> this could go very badly wrong. And I, I love the idea of him being in an idle state again, like he was in the time room. The... the, the, the Continuity or consistency. Uh, yeah, it's just like before. Now he's got a new world. He can, he can go through the door. He can go through the door. It's just like last time. Come on. Oh. Thank you, boss. This boss gave him permission to come here. It's the Lich, looking at the Lich, with gold in between, and it's like a maze, made out of like the green chunks that sort of float around gold, that the were like split apart in the Puhoi episode, if I'm pulling things together. Because, yeah, the, the, that climax, and that, 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 that world being that world, is fantastic. Full stop, that would have been enough. But the lich then mirrors. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's on pause. He's on standby mode because there was no living things in the world left. There was nothing for him to do. He had no purpose. Same as when he was stranded in the time room, and there was nothing he could kill there. Now, with the okay, what was that new portal that opened? Golb appearing in the socket of the lich's eye. I am I am so curious. I was expecting him to like jump through the portal. But he didn't. So there's something else going on. And also debatably, this is like prime lich from the series. In in my mind, this is the lich that succeeded. Got his wish. This happened to the world. But also, in terms of just the story, I think this is when the Lich was the scariest, when he was wearing Billy, which is fucking grim. Uh, I love the, the, the eye hanging out now, because Billy's the, the Billy suit he's wearing has corroded and decayed that much. Oh. But also then, in fu uh, future appearances beyond that point in Adventure Time... Okay, next time we saw him was in the time room when he was on pause and then he killed Prismo, and that episode was brilliant. 
uh, but then it's the Citadel stuff, which was good for the overall story, but ends with the Lich being turned into um, Sweet Pea, and then we have all the Sweet Pea stuff, which whenever the Lich sort of seeps through Sweet Pea is great, but you know, that, that was the end of the Lich, that was the end of his story, kind of. There's like all the hands popping up, and alternate universe, there's the farm world Lich and everything again, and then in um, Distant Lands, of course, with again one of the hands. But this is like the this this is the lich that won. This is the lich that actually succeeded, not on a multiversal scale, not on a life and death <laughs> scale, but on U, on perhaps the universe. The the, extin the extinction of all life was his wish, and it happened. So, yeah. Uh, I think looking at the time, I can't really afford to do any more episodes, but there's two left. And I've got a couple days off this week. Wait, is there two left or is there one left? There's two left. So I think uh, I probably won't upload them as a double bill, but I will react back to back to the final two episodes, which are called Casper and Nova, who are not characters we have previously met. Again, it's, it's, it's not a name that we know. And then Cheers is the finale. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm singing the song here. Uh, so the Winter King was not a character we knew, but was an alternate Ice King. The Star was not a character we knew, but was an alternate Marceline. Jerry was not a character we knew, but was an alternate Lich. The Lich. And now, Casper and Nova. Could they be another alternate Finn and Jake, or Fiona and Cake sort of parallel? Or something else entirely? Who knows? We're going to find out next week. I... I wish I had more time today, and I didn't have other stuff I needed to do that I could just barrel through the last three, because that was a great place to end off. I think I'm probably going to watch Jerry again. I'm going to watch this episode again before recording the final two, just to hype me up again to this level of energy. <laughs> I've been Jack of All Trades. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait. Until next time, bye. Cease.